Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh 20 piece. They call it the engine brush set, but it's a bunch of uh, tubular type uh, pipe brushes and nylon, stainless steel, and brass. They don't mention what grade it is. What's a little bit unique is that they're all on quarter inch hex shanks right here. And I thought that's just a little bit interesting. It makes them a little bit more convenient if you want to put them in a drill or an impact driver and spin them around. If we can get this to focus. But that gives them another distinct advantage, which is why I bought them. This set, I think, retails for like 18 bucks. You can get it with a coupon for around 15 so it's actually a little bit expensive. It's tons of rave reviews, and I think it's just because uh, there's it's pretty hard to find these type of tubular brushes. They don't really sell them in many retail stores, whether it's hardware or automotive. Harbor Freight actually has a few different styles. They also have this style, which is would would be considered the traditional style of pipe brushes or these tub tubular brushes. Now, the one advantage, the, the uh, another advantage, I should say, is over these. These are really flexible, and so you have a real issue if you have like a orifice like this where you you know it's that down deep where you can get both the sides pretty well, but you want to try to get that middle part, and that's a big problem. You know, you can try to get in there with a brush like this, but, you know, you end up folding over the little uh, wires. And brushes don't work real well when you fold over the wires, which is where this brush set comes in. It comes with this locking quarter-inch uh, hex handle. I do like because it is just a push-in type, so you don't have to actually pull it back to put it in. All you have to do is pull it back to get it out. And so you can use this little extension. It comes with an extension, and you can just pop that in there like that if this would focus there we go it's because my hand pop that in there and now when you're in a situation like this it's much more rigid because you have that quarter inch shank and that's what I really like that and that these are choked way up in here so there just isn't a lot of stem like on one of these to flex around and so that's really the big deal is the fact that you just have a rigid stem you can use any standard quarter inch accessories and it makes these just pretty convenient for both running in power tools like drills and impact drivers, as well as this giving you, uh, just making it so much more rigid so you can, you know, really get some pressure on the side. And I think that's pretty neat. You know, the actual quality of these adapters here is, you know, not the greatest. Actually, surprisingly enough, the Nerling's okay, but they're pretty darn thin walled. You can see right there. And like on that one, it's just not super great. There is actually a magnet down inside this, in addition to it being locking. It does have some kind of soft grip, but it looks really cheesy. Uh, it looks like it's recycled polystyrene, so styrofoam. Uh, you know, it's a darn cheap handle. But there is a lot of work that's done to making this whole set. Another thing that kind of annoys me a little bit is the fact that uh, it is a big old $15 set, and they don't have any, you know, it's kind of hit or miss, but many times you don't need all these sizes. It would be nice maybe if they had a set that was separate, like, you know, just the stainless steel or something like that that was a lot cheaper. Or maybe a set that didn't have the nylon brushes. Now, these nylon brushes are pretty decent, but they are, I would consider, a soft as far as nylon. They don't use, they're not high density, meaning that they don't, have a very thick layer of bristles. You know how they manufacture these is they just have a whole row of bristles and they stick them in between a loop of wire that kind of looks like this. Why is my camera not focusing today? And then they just twist up that piece of wire and then it, by the motion of twisting it fans it out. So what a high density one in nylon might be something like this where it's just thicker. They just have a thicker pad. You know, it's a bit more rigid. The actual wire that they use, as you can see, is a bit thicker. So, you know, they do cut corners on this little set for the Harbor Freight. Of course, comparing the stainless steel ones, this is what a real heavy-duty, real rigid one is. It even has a, this neat little kind of four-finger handle. As we can see, there's a dramatic difference in density between, like, a professional, expensive one and then the Harbor Freights. But those are better in certain situations. Maybe screwing these down in the head, you know, various bolt holes and orifices and just, you know, using a drill that you push them in then using a drill to actually kind of unthread them. That would really get a lot of particles out of the deep recesses of threads. And that would be much more effective than actually, you know, pushing it in. And it's obviously much easier than uh, running it out by hand. But of course you can do that. 
And their design seems okay, you know, it's a good idea if they're going to have this whole rigid set up for them to be, you know, real short and choked up inside their holders rather than having, you know, some big long stem. So I think that's about it for this review of this little set. You know, I think they're pretty neat. They are going to be handy for me. They do come in six different sizes, quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, five eighths, three quarter inch, and one inch. Part number 63732. Pretty hard to find, and I think they're, you know, definitely pretty decent. And for the kind of projects that, you know, I occasionally get into, fixing power tools, that kind of stuff, auto repair, these will definitely come in handy. I just think I'm going to be annoyed because I'm always going to want to use certain sizes, and I'm going to wear them out, and I'm going to end up with a bunch of sizes that I don't need. But I'll eventually find projects to use them on. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.